Hola, me puede dar dos de cada color. Bonitos, por Verde. favor. My name is Michelle Angela Ortiz and I am a visual artist and a community arts educator. There isn't a disconnect to what I've experienced in my life, to what I've learned in terms of my artistic practice. Vamos aquí, vamos aquí. Así larguito, bonito. Así, en un ángulo. I grew up in South Philadelphia by the 9th Street Market with parents who worked two or three jobs. And so the price of going to art school or taking art classes was just really um, difficult for them. I always say that the foundation of my artistic practice really comes from just growing up in my household and being in my community. And it wasn't until I had the opportunity to go to college was just matching those experiences with the vocabulary of composition and line and all of those things, right? The mediums that I work in range from doing large-scale murals to painting, smaller paintings. So I say I go from like either 18 by 24 inches or 18 feet and 24 feet. The common thread in all of the mediums that I work with, it's really about telling a story. And the story that is being told is coming from communities that don't have that platform to really amplify their voices. To immigrant communities across the country bracing for an ice crackdown to kick into high gear now. Those deportation raids sparking new protests overnight. In 2013, at the rise of deportations in the United States, I created Familias Separadas, which stands for Separated Families. It is a public art project with multiple phases that is centered on telling the stories of families that are directly impacted by detention and deportations. I felt that it was necessary to really talk about this issue, which sometimes is really focused on the border and what does that mean within our own city, and then also what does that mean in our own state. The Berks County Residential Center is a family prison about an hour and a half away from Philadelphia that detains and continues to detain immigrant families. That includes children along with their parents. I created a documentary called Las Madres de Burks that showcases the testimonials of four mothers that were detained at this facility. It is the first time that they're speaking about their experience. Y al gobernador, póngase en mis zapatos y dígame, ¿qué le contestaría a su hijo si su hijo le dice, mamá, ¿por qué no podemos ir por un helado? Mamá, ¿por qué no podemos ir por ropa? Mamá, ¿por qué no puedo salir? Mamá, ¿por qué no puedo ir a un parque? Mamá, ¿por qué no puedo ser libre? Somos personas que venimos en busca de protección. Ya venimos con, con traumas de nuestros países. Hemos tenido que saltar barreras, muchos obstáculos y, y pues venir para acá y más es el encierro, la presión de sentirse vigilado todos los días. Becoming a mother, I feel like it's a continuous journey. <laughs> I understand love on a, you know, such a huge, like, on whole other level. I understand better the choices my parents have made. I understand why someone would risk so much for their child. The Ninth Street Market has always been a pathway for immigrant families to find a way to support themselves and to thrive. There's been a lot of changes that I've witnessed from a child until now, but it's also a place that visually has its own character, has its own identity. And what I really love about the market is that it continues to be that way, and it has been that way for over 100 years. I just want to thank everyone for being in the space here together. Part of the conversation today is really going to be focused on identifying what are the treasures of our market, identifying also what are the obstacles, and also what is the future that we envision for the market. I feel that it's important for me as an artist working in communities. I might have a beautiful, amazing idea and be like, yes, this is great and we need to do this. And then I come into the community like, okay, that's nice, but that's not really what we want. <laughs> I think um, that the market is just a huge asset to our community. 
and it needs to be treated as such. The future is the families. It's the families who are here now. I'm working in Italian market for 20 years already, 21, Ooh. something like that, yes. <laughs> and the Italian market is like um, my, my, my house, my second house. When we have moments to tell our story, when we have moments to actually share our truth, we shine brighter. Some of the things that um, I've been thinking about, no, no, you could show your face, there we go. And for me, the art overall, whichever community I'm working with, is for us to see how grand and how beautiful and how um, bright we can be. Okay, ready? All ready. One, two, three. Beautiful. Thank you.